in the central boreal forest here for fire starting birch bark is is the number one choice you can find it virtually everywhere even in a pure pine and spruce forest like this there's always there's always some birch back in there within uh, 30 40 meters you can pretty well find it everywhere but it's always good to practice fire starting without your favorite material and I thought I'd show you this this is an interesting phenomenon we have in some of our jack pine black spruce forests it's all fire origin this species and the community that it grows in and uh, right after the fire this would be about a hundred years ago there would have been some poplar and willow shrubs and some birch too along the shore but over the last uh, 50 to 80 years the beaver have eaten it all they they generally forage within about 50 meters of the shoreline and now uh, this forest being uh, close to about 100 years old uh, there is no more poplar by the shore they've gotten it all over the over the decades and now they've been reduced to chewing on these jack pine and uh, even though they girdle them the jack pine hang in for a while. This one is still alive. Anyways, this it, it oozes it oozes uh, pine pitch or pine resin, and uh, this stuff is is just excellent for fire starting, especially with a fire steel. So in the boreal here, between birch bark, which you can always find, and you should carry a little bit in a dry bag in your travels so that you always have some even in the pouring rain. But if that resource should for, for whatever reason not be available, pine pitch, spruce pitch, most people know that it's uh, highly flammable and I'll demonstrate collecting some and striking it with a fire steel and getting a real hot fire going real quick. So here's one here that's handy for the camera and tripod setup. Now this will gum up your knife, but what are knives for, eh? gather fine shavings of this. Like I said, it will come up your knife. I can clean that off later, just uh, batoning through some wood, making some splits. That's enough for demonstration purposes. I get the best strike off this light my fire uh, with my knife. Uh, this is a pretty good striker, but when I want a really hot flame, I use the back of this F1, which works really well. One strike. It burns for a long time, and it'll give you lots of time to add tinder to it. And of course, this is waterproof, so even in the rain, this will be collectible and strikable. Jack Pine Resin Boreal Forest, Northwestern Ontario. Incredibly, this jack pine is still alive.